There are additional very interesting and powerful effects of UVB light, in particular on immune function. All the organs of our body are inside our skin. And so information about external conditions, meaning the environment that we're in, need to be communicated to the various organs of our body. Some of them have more direct access to what's going on outside. So for instance, the cells in your brain that reside right over the roof of your mouth, your hypothalamus that control hormone output and then control the biological functions that we call circadian functions, the ones that change every 24 hours. Well, those are just one or two connections, meaning synapses away from those cells in your eye that perceive UV, UVB light, excuse me. Other organs of your body, such as your spleen, which is involved in the creation of molecules and cells that combat infection. Well, those are a long ways away from those cells in your eye. And in fact, they're a long ways away from your skin. There are beautiful studies showing that if we get more UVB exposure from sunlight or from appropriate artificial sources, that spleen and immune function are enhanced. And there's a very logical, well-established circuit as to how that happens. Your brain actually connects to your spleen. Now, it's not the case that you can simply think, okay, spleen, turn on, release killer cells, go out and combat infection. However, UVB light arriving on the eyes is known to trigger activation of the neurons within the so-called sympathetic nervous system. These neurons are part of the larger thing that we call the autonomic nervous system, meaning it's below or not accessible by conscious control. It's the thing that controls your heartbeat, controls your breathing, and that also activates or flips on the switch of your immune system. When we get a lot of UVB light in our eyes, or I should say sufficient UVB light in our eyes, a particular channel a particular set of connections within the sympathetic nervous system is activated and our spleen deploys immune cells and molecules that scavenge for and combat infection. So if you've noticed that you get fewer colds and flus and other forms of illness in the summer months, part of that could be because of the increase in temperature in your environment, because typically longer days are associated with more warmth in your environment as opposed to winter days, which are short when it tends to be colder out. Well, that's true, but it's also the case the people around you have fewer colds and flus and that you will get infected with fewer colds and flus and other infections because if those infections, whether or not they're bacterial or viral, arrive in your body, right? If you inhale them or they get into your mouth or on your skin, your spleen meets those infections with a greater output. In other words, the soldiers of your immune system, the chemicals and cell types of your immune system that combat infection are in a more ready deployed stance, if you will. 